The reluctant face of an industry in crisis. Gavin Kelly watches on as the sport he loves is pulled apart in state parliament. Look, I've cried, I don't know how many times the last two days. The harness driver has been here before, a previous scrap with the Office of Racing Integrity over his refusal to use a whip while racing has left him scarred. They almost broke me when... But allegations aired by the ABC of team driving and the domination of the sport by Yole Racing has him speaking out again. He's desperate for change. Ori is to blame for all of those complaints. Ori dropped the ball. Ori have done nothing. If they did their job, if they policed racing, participants wouldn't be game to do what they're being alleged to have done. Attention is turning to the Office of Racing Integrity and what it knew and when in regards to team driving and animal welfare concerns. And away they go, written in silk goes forward. Be good the general manager, inside. Justin Helmich, says Racing Integrity was unaware of a betting plunge on a Yole winner on Bernie Cup Day, despite that data being publicly available and even mentioned by the race caller on the day. The front runner written in silk, who's been a nice go on the fixed odds market. It's been 26 into 11s on the front runner. When the article undertaken by the ABC came out on the weekend, that was the first that uh, the Office of Racing Integrity was uh, aware of that of that betting plunge. An independent investigation has now been announced by the government. What is an announcement? We haven't got time. We're racing on Friday. We will see 100% Yole Fields again on Friday. Kelly is calling for Ori's immediate suspension. So what is the Office of Racing Integrity and how does it function? Well, put simply, the Office is responsible for maintaining integrity and probity in all three codes of Tasmanian racing, harness, greyhound and thoroughbreds. It sits separate to TAS Racing, which is largely the administrative arm of racing in Tasmania. Instead, it sits as part of a government department, the Department of Natural Resources and Environment. The Director of Racing is Justin Helmich and he provides advice directly to the Racing Minister, Madeleine Ogilvie. Now in recent years there's been a revolving door of Racing Directors. That's led partly to a wide-ranging review of the Office of Racing Integrity that eventually led to the recommendation of sweeping changes. One of those is the introduction of a new Tasmanian Racing Integrity Commissioner that would have broader powers, but legislation enshrining that is yet to be tabled in Parliament. Another change would be the introduction of a betting analyst, but that change only came about in recent days, off the back of ABC reporting. A racing minister under pressure over an industry in crisis. She was made aware of the ABC's specific allegations on Monday last week and then claimed two days later that racing has never been in better shape. Shame. Shame. This minister is obviously incompetent. The point is the reform process is underway. Yes. We are welcoming that input. We have announced an independent investigation. Tasmania's parliament heard new allegations from the harness racing industry. Minister, it is our understanding that a female industry participant had to be escorted from a recent race meet by security guards after receiving death threats. A group of Yole drivers operating a private betting scam along with a team driving practice. The whistleblower believed they'd already made tens of thousands of dollars. Tasmania's harness racing starter is also employed to drive truckloads of horses to the races for Ben Yole. Clearly this presents a significant conflict of interest. Ben Yol denies any wrongdoing on the part of himself or his stable. No Labor and the Greens tried to move motions of no confidence in the Racing Minister and in the Premier, but they were blocked by the government. What I would really encourage everybody in this chamber to do, and those in the gallery who have something to bring forward, is to get on board with the reform. Uh, oh. The government can use its numbers to block no confidence motions in Parliament. But given it took media attention to prompt it to act on problems that harness racing industry participants have been raising for years, it's not clear how the government will restore public confidence in its ability to police the racing industry.